what's up fam? Let's get another lesson in. Okay, let's talk about where assumptions could really bust your ass in a selling situation. <laughs> All right, you, hear, you can hear this sometimes. We say, yeah, you should never assume, right? You probably heard the makes an ass out of you and me. Well, really it makes an ass out of you because it can kill your selling uh, success. And it really, it's in, I'd say two key areas where making assumptions is a big no-no. The, the first one is answering questions where you don't understand the motivation behind a question that you get, right? Often, too often, we get a question from a potential prospect and the natural reaction is to just answer it, right? But too many times we don't know if that answer is actually helping us sell or hurting our sale. And you need to understand that. So let's say for example, I'm someone who believes that if a company is growing really fast, that that means it's unreliable, right? It could be kind of one of those uh, flash in the pan type companies. And I say, well, what's your growth rate? And you've been growing, I don't know, 10X over three years. And you all of a sudden shout out, yo, Tony, I'm glad you asked about our growth rate. We've been 10X every year for the last three years. Well, to me, that signals danger. To other people, it may signal excitement. To you, it signals excitement, but you don't understand what my motivation behind that question is. So how do you avoid this? Easy, guess what? You ask them a question. You say, that's an interesting question. I don't get that a lot. What is it about growth rate that's important to you? Ah, isn't that sexy? Super easy. And guess who's doing the talking? Uh, me and the prospect, not you, right? You ever heard that if you, the, the person who's talking the most isn't the one selling? So who's talking more? You wanna get that prospect. So that's a super easy way to just understand the motivation behind the question. The second one, is highlighting a feature that you believe is super sexy, but in reality, the buyer could be looking at it as a risk or not a benefit that they're end up paying for. So I'll give you a quick example. I was looking at buying a program, it was about 40 grand that I was looking for. I won't go into details of, of what it is, but the, this guy, the sales guy, did a good, better, best close on me. The problem was the, the two features <laughs> that I really liked in there were in the best category. And he made an assumption that like the 100 things that were in the best feature was gonna overwhelm me into a yes. He assumed that all these things that I get with the best feature, I was just gonna go, wow, this is overwhelmingly great. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. When in reality, these were the two most important things to me and I, assume me as the buyer was saying, well, obviously I'm paying for all this in that 40 grand, therefore the service is overpriced because I don't need to be paying for all this. And when I only need these things, I'm going to try and find a company that just does, just does those two things. So this is an easy example where you need to evaluate, am I answering questions without understanding motivation? And am I highlighting a feature before really understanding how it's going to solve a specific problem I have? That's it. You want to never assume either one of those. You take those two things out of your game, watch your sales go up, baby. Woo!